Happy Thursday, everybody. It's your boy Brock Lee again. Chapter 2 video blog. Um, the weather is so gorgeous today. I just decided to take a late lunch and just head out just because it's so beautiful. Um, it's been hot, it's been rainy, it's been muggy, but you know, days like today are pretty much perfect. So. There's High Row. Hello, High Row. Um, just going out for a spin. Just cause. Oh, man. Leo season is officially over. We are now in Virgo season. Shout out to Kobe Bryant. It's the Mamba's birthday today. Shout out to my boy Mike Lee, who just had his daughter Matilda today sharing the Mamba mentality oh, I'm going first sucker um, I guess for today's blog I wanted to address why I ride a motorcycle and it could be a very complex answer it could be a very simple answer the fact that it's awesome and I like it, but um, it's a little more complex than that. So I guess starting with the beginning, I, somewhere around middle school and high school, I really got into cars. And the cars that I liked were sports cars. Um, my favorite game was Gran Turismo on PlayStation 1. And you know, my favorite cars were the the 35th anniversary Chevy Camaro with the racing kit, white with the orange racing stripes. I love the RX-7s, the R33 GTR. I mean, I just, I just thought cars were the coolest things. And you know, I got an engineering degree, graduated. And then I just kind of, you know, when, once you hit the real world, you're like, oh, wow. Like, the sports cars I want are like, you know, if you just started with, like, a, say, just like a Impreza WRX or, or, you know, whatever type of sports car was around then when I graduated. And you realize, you know, these cars are upwards of $30,000. And you're just like, holy fuck. Fuck. I use bad language again. Um, $30,000. And it's just like... And, you know, this is all hypothetical. It's just like, say you make 50 k out of college. After taxes, like state taxes, Medicare, you know, Social Security taxes. I mean, that's 30 k in cash if you, did, if you saved every penny and didn't spend a dime on anything else. And I thought about it, and I was just like... Are the cars I want worth an entire year out of my life? And it was just wild to me. It's just like, like, like that's crazy. I mean, of course, you could always buy one and finance it, but I've never been a fan of being in debt or, or having to pay interest on something. I think that's just the Illuminati's way of enslaving the population to make you a slave to your to debt because of your own desires and I ain't about that life like I don't I don't want to ever owe anybody anything you know it's just I don't want to live that way where my ego or you know how I want to appear you know is influencing you know how I live and having to make like you know like another six hundred dollar payment every month just to you know, just at it literally vanity. So I was just like, yep, you know, until I make double that, there's really no reason for me to consider these cars. And it's like, there's the other aspect of having to, you know, buy used ones that, you know, people could have possibly beaten up and dealing with issues and all that stuff. So I just, you know, I just put it on the back burner. Um, I always love manual transmissions. My 2004 Honda Accord was a manual and one of my favorite things about driving is uh, 
manual transmissions and, and shifting. So once I realized that, you know, aspect of bikes, I was just like, you know, what? like I, I realized motorcycles are a manual transmission too. I was like, oh, that's pretty dope. Because I like being engaged while driving. I like, I like feeling, I don't know, it's like a surrogate activity, I guess, where I, I feel is rewarding and I feel accomplished just clicking through the gears or shifting through the gears. So something about motorcycles and I was just like, oh, that's cool. And, you know, YouTube was kind of fledgling and beginning out back then. And I came across this blog. I mean, this was literally the first person I ever seen doing these moto vlogs. His name was More Death 13. I don't remember the specifics, but I think he's the OG of motorcycle blogging. And he was in some Asian country. I want to say Malaysia, Singapore, Philippines, one of those things. But one of the videos that just amazed me was called How to Counter Steer on a Motorcycle. And the premise of that video is in order to turn right, you don't turn your handlebar to the right. In order to go right, you have to turn your handlebar to the left. And I was just like, what? How does that make any sense? Like, I thought it was just... But I watched it and I was just like, wow, like, motorcycles are so much cooler than I ever imagined. Like, it was crazy to me. So watch this. I'm going to turn my hand, my, my handlebars, to the left and I'll go right. Watch. Whoa! <laughs> so they call it counter steering. So the way the motorcycle actually turns is you turn the, the handlebar the opposite the way you want to go. So if you want to turn left, you turn the handlebar to the right, in essence pushing the handlebar to the left. And what that does is initiate the lean on the motorcycle to go in the direction that you want to go. So I thought that was really cool too. And around the same time my bump squad teammate, you know, had a motorcycle. And I realized like you can get like one of the fastest motorcycles in production used for like 5k. And I was just like, wow, like 5k, like that you don't have to save up an entire, you know, salary for a year to to get one and not be in debt. So I was just like, oh, I'm sold. Got my license and that was it. <laughs> Loved it ever since. Um you should always wear your gear like I'm not doing now but you know I've been riding so long it's just like I'm just like F it I always say ride, wear your gear because riding without protection is like going to the club and picking up chicks and raw dogging them without protection like sure it'll feel great but you know eventually you're gonna catch that person with the monster and it's just like is it really worth it so you know you should protect yourself at all times do as i say not as i do because that shit cray what's your order chick-fil-a i guess it's time for chick-fil-a see you next time